What's up, fam? Hello, hello there. Oh, hello, we're back. Yay. I'm back. I, I'm here. <laughs> With a friend. For the first time. She's here for the first time. Yes. And guess what? Guess what? We're married. Oh my gosh. Major life update for wow. you, fam. Six weeks already. Manifesto, fam. This year has been amazing. The family is growing. Yeah. Multiplying. Multiplication. <laughs> um, so yeah, here we are. We are six weeks married. Six weeks, something like that. In our little apartment. Yeah, it's a little studio. And um, we're loving it. Loving it. But we are back to share all that God's doing. So much. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so much. Let's Help sit. us, God. Let's sit down. <laughs> Let's sit down. Yeah, so we wanted to stay in touch with all of you guys and begin to yeah just document what god's doing here among us in our community um which is a lot yes and it's been a very very marking very beautiful um a lot of these yeah what we kind of on our hearts to do is to make weekly videos lord willing we'll be able to um just update you guys on truths that god's really burning in our hearts um, as we're doing life, we found last month and a half has been filled with a lot of just revelation and you know we're always going back and forth with different things that God's just burning in our hearts with the gospel, with the kingdom, with how to live in light of the gospel that has been, that we've been invited into. Yes. And so we wanted to share kind of those burning things that God does weekly with you guys. And whether it's with us personally or he's doing it in the community, just wanted to so have you guys be part of it. So gripped. Yeah. How so are you gripped? gripped? Oh my gosh, so gripped. I was even thinking back today, what happened? But about two weeks ago, we were running a week-long school, soul school. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know what happened. I think it was the second day of the school. But we just got really gripped by God. Mm -hmm. Just gripped with the gospel. Yeah. It almost felt like... I don't know, like I believe for the first time. Mm -hmm. He just became more real yeah. and the gospel was just burning in my heart. Yeah. Just gripped by the gospel and then uh, all these questions were coming up. Do you do you believe the gospel? Yeah. Like, no, seriously, do you believe the gospel? Yeah. And if we believe the gospel, there must be evidence of our faith. Mine. When we put our faith in him yeah. and what he's done right. there must be evidence mm -hmm. yeah you remember that one night i could not go to bed <laughs> she was preaching at me i was preaching and i was so convicted i i just wanted to hide and i did hide under my sheets i was like and then you stayed up that night yeah just... i stayed up i honestly the lord was just convicting me mm -hmm. if you believe the gospel mm -hmm. there would be no sick among you yeah we should not we should not be content with where we're at we should not be content with just yeah. seeing healings in the past here and there there should be no sick every single person that came to jesus got healed mm -hmm. if we truly believe the gospel we will see signs wonders and miracles yeah. we'll see dead people come to life come we'll see unity in the body of christ do we believe the gospel yeah. so that night i'm going to bed so convicted by God and just saying, I don't believe the gospel. <laughs> God, forgive me, have mercy on my life. I don't even know what I've been doing, but I don't I don't think I believe the gospel. And the next morning I woke up, you remember what I said? She said, I believe the gospel. <laughs> I believe the gospel. <laughs> we must believe the gospel. Mm -hmm. We must believe the cross. We must Come believe on. the blood. Yeah. Because I don't know, you know, when you first get saved, you're mm -hmm. so gripped by God, mm -hmm. you're so gripped by the truth, and you know you're washed, yeah. you're washed, you're cleansed, you know your brand new creation, and then somewhere along the way, now it turns into what I can do for Him, mm -hmm. about my self-righteousness. Mm -hmm. How far can I go if I pray this long, if I fast this long? Yeah. So, yeah, help us God. Yeah. To believe the gospel. Yeah, and there's so many layers to to the gospel, and this is why, so many. in a way, this is very a, a broad spectrum of of possibilities of where where we can go and what truth is God 
um, inviting you into explore so that the gospel would take full effect in yeah, our hearts, in our lives, in our relationships, yeah. in every aspect, because it affects every part of life. It's not just a, yeah. a little window of, of religious duty that we're yeah. a part of. It, it, we're in a new kingdom. Yeah. We're born again into a family and a priesthood. Yeah. We're, in the ki- we're in a kingdom now yes, that we're yeah. learning to live. The same way we were born into this world and we learn to live, you know, our parents taught us to walk and talk and, and function in life. In that same way, when we're born again, we learn to walk and talk, right? And have communion with God and fellowship with one another. We learned a certain way to live. And much of what we should ask ourselves is how have I learned to live in the kingdom? How have I learned to live in the spirit? And how have I learned to live in the spirit? Am I living in the kingdom? And yeah. what truths are empowering me to bring the kingdom? Or Lord, expose the lies that are really robbing me from the treasures and promises that God's made available yeah. to us through the gospel. Now, this is excellent because many times we think, well, but this is not what I mean, but faith comes by hearing. Right. So what are we saying? What comes out of my, my mouth? What mm-hmm. comes out of my heart? And we do want to walk in the truth. So yeah. if there is anything in our lives and our hearts that's not in alignment mm-hmm. with the truth and the kingdom, right. we don't want it. Yeah. Right? We prayed a dangerous prayer, guys. <laughs> Beginning of this year in January, uh-huh. we said, God, deconstruct deconstruct everything that is not of you yeah. everything and yeah. no truly since january oh my gosh so much happened mm-hmm. we're in june right now this past six months has been absolutely incredible yeah. <laughs> incredible yeah. time just him revealing the truth and realigning even relationships and um yeah a lot of things in the community oh my gosh i don't even know where to start seriously i want to talk about so many things but let's talk about what god is doing in the community because it's not just it's not just about our little ecclesia community here Mm -hmm. in orlando which is only about 50 60 people yes so if you don't didn't know we run a house church community here in downtown orlando yeah, we're a community of around 50, 60 people that are yeah. committed as a covenant family to walk together, to do life together, to pray together, to stand before the Lord together. And we're just committed season in, season out, whoever the Lord brings. Um, we obviously have the schools that people come in and join the community and are discipled through it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in what the Lord does in, in our community is, is obviously life-giving to us. Yes. Um, so yeah, we want to touch on that so true because it's not about one person right it's not about just one speaker or one pastor it is the body of christ Mm -hmm. and the body meant to walk together and do life together like daniel mentioned through covenant right and i don't know how possible it is to walk in covenant with a thousand people (laughs) so being a part of small community is truly a treasure to Mm -hmm. us yeah and yeah like we mentioned about a few weeks ago during sold week god just started gripping our hearts Mm -hmm. with the gospel and then um it it was it went viral (laughs) in our community (laughs) yeah it's contagious when you're burning with the truth don't just keep it to yourself release the spirit of god that whatever he's doing his glory when he is released and other people start catching it Mm -hmm. and Here's what's been happening. We'll start with outreaches because we know that Jesus told us go and preach the gospel Mm -hmm. to all creation. So, and um, those of you that know us, we go out every Friday night to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, during the week uh, on Saturdays, we go to this one neighborhood where Daniel's been going with some friends for over 10 years. Yeah, just to preach the gospel Mm -hmm. and love on the children. So one of the girls in the community just got so gripped with this truth that Jesus didn't go on outreach. He lived this missional lifestyle. So everywhere he went, he was preaching the gospel. So it's not a duty on Friday nights for two hours. This is your life Mm -hmm. because it's burning in your heart. The truth is burning in your heart and you cannot contain it. So now everywhere you go, you're just going to release the truth of God. And then some people got gripped with 
prayer mm -hmm. and something that we've been contending for for a few years and just trying to come up with strategies oh my gosh how do we start the house of prayer mm -hmm. we know that this is God's heart and this is what he wants to do so lo and behold a few days later talk about it what yeah happened. one of our leaders here he just and through a few other members in 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 the community um, God was just beginning to speak about just prayer and a season of fasting yeah. and so after a few just prophetic dreams and confirmations and once again this is part of being in a covenant community God is releasing wisdom to the body not just to a person not yeah. just to the leader yeah. but to 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 the body and so we we confirm what the Lord is is speaking right mm -hmm. um, through one another through what each other are hearing from the Lord so the Lord just began to speak about entering a 40 day window of prayer and fasting yeah. and all of a sudden the, our households um, oh the gosh. community houses all just said yes to this invitation to come before the Lord to actually spend this whole ne next 40 days in prayer and fasting uh, and once again it's it's not by compulsion it's not by even yeah. human zeal it's by the spirit because he's releasing wisdom and then he releases grace yes, and so it's been you know a handful of them are daily before the Lord pretty much from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah. before the Lord in prayer uh, seeking his face and stopping business as usual and just devoting their time before the Lord you know and, and we believe that God's doing this as people say yes to not just seek his face but to walk together yeah. in community yeah. he binds their hearts together to be family on mission mm -hmm. to be family that walks together and hears his his voice to allow us to build with his wisdom um, psalm 127 says unless the lord builds the house they labor in vain and so i believe that god is wanting to release this kind of wisdom to communities of people that walk together yes. uh, and that begin to really build by his wisdom yeah and even few people that did salt season here with us last year mm -hmm. and this one girl she went back she went to a different state and she just called us and she said I feel the gripping in my heart mm -hmm. I feel like God is calling me into this time of prayer and fasting mm -hmm. and when she found out this is what the community is doing here well she quit her job, she quit her job. <laughs> and then came back down yes and here she is and we're not encouraging anyone to quit everything that you're doing but if this is what God is calling you to do yeah. just answer the call come on answer the call no matter what the cost mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. you will never regret it come on but yeah we're we haven't seen anything crazy with our natural eyes just yet but we just but feel the rumbling of God in our hearts, in our spirit, and amongst our community. And so we just want to take moments throughout every week and share with you guys what yeah. God's doing, what He's saying, and, and just invite you in on, on. on our journey here. Yes, but just about um, before we started recording this video, um, yeah, I was just listening to my audio Bible, uh, to the book of Galatians, um, Galatians 1 and 2. And I want to encourage you guys listen to the Word of God as much as you can, eat the Word of God. You wake up in the morning, just turn on that audio Bible and just wash your mind with the Word of God, with His truth and may everything realign to the yeah, truth. So Galatians 2.20 says, for it is no, I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me and the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave Himself for me. Guys, what if this tr if this is true? What if this is real truth in our lives? That it is no longer I who live, but Christ, mm -hmm. crucified, yeah. resurrected Son of God, yeah. lives in me, lives in you. Yeah. So who cares what anyone thinks? Who cares what I think? It is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He lives in you and through you, and He wants to manifest yes. His presence, His glory through you more than you want Him to move through you. <laughs> yeah. 
good. So no matter what the, the call is, we, we just say yes to God. Mm -hmm. We just give a wholehearted yeah. yes to Him and say, yes, God, do it, God. No matter what it takes, do it, God. Yeah. It's all worth it. Yeah, so believe the gospel. This is, right, th this one scripture is the gospel that yes. you are crucified with Christ. That is Christ living through you. Come on. Right, you don't live unto yourself. You live unto the glory of the one that gave his life for you, who loves yeah. you, right? So when you, just simple truths, take yeah. in the scripture, renew your mind in the gospel truths of who Christ is and who he's made you part of himself. Come on. So we're, we've been united with him. We've been yes. united with him in death and resurrection. So we can live in resurrection power and life flowing through us. We are that well of living water springing up unto everlasting life. So I just challenge every one of you guys to begin to allow the truth of the word, the truth of the gospel to renew your inner man, to renew the spirit of your mind so that you would live from God's wisdom, God's reality and from the gospel truth. Yeah, and I just really wanted to say this one little thing. There is no recycled Christians. Mm. <laughs> there is no recycled sons of God. Mm. You are a new creation. In 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. So if we believe the gospel and we believe that his blood is enough, mm -hmm. we believe that his blood washed away all of your sins, yeah. all yeah. of your past, everything, and you are a new creation in him. Mm -hmm. The old has passed away. You, you just can't go back. <laughs> so you're not a recycled Christian. <laughs> you're a brand new creation brand new. in Christ. Yes. You reveal the glory of God. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Come Jesus. On. You are holy. You're perfect. Yes. You're pure. So good. <laughs> good. Well, thank you guys for watching. I know that this is a, a light introduction to all that's going on here and uh, we just encourage you guys to stay in touch with us here feel free to ask us a question down below um, what we want to engage with you guys in different ways and we want to hear from you guys but yeah we're gonna we're gonna kind of revamp this the channel just to be different different things that God's been doing among us and but just to have you guys peer into our little community here in Orlando for the king yes well thank you guys and um like and subscribe and mm -hmm. we'll see you guys on the next vid bye bye